Hey guys, it's Colleen and I just wanted to give you an update specifically regarding Indiana closings. There is an executive order that the governor has signed that states that title and closing services are essential and may be done. However, the state or home order does prohibit it them unless it would adversely affect the party's financial or legal standing. What that means is that <laughs> Uh, somebody that needs to refinance or buy or sell their home needs to at least come up with a reason that their um, that their financial or legal standing would be bad. There would be some sort of a hardship if they couldn't go forward, if they were to delay that closing until the ban is lifted, which would be the stay at home order is supposed to be lifted April 20th. Um, however, it's very possible that it could be extended. What that means for people closing at the English Law Group is that prior to closing, we will email a copy of the executive order in its entirety, along with an affidavit that the client will need to sign at closing, and it will have to state some reason. We are not going to be the judge and jury as to what constitutes um, an adverse um, hardship, but we do need prior to scheduling the closing we will need for the clients to send us an email stating what that's going to be we cannot schedule a closing without that in indiana we are not allowed to do zoom calls we are not allowed to do any of that kind of stuff so it will have to be a face-to-face -face interaction and because of that we need to have documentation so if you have a closing that's that's going to be scheduled here within uh, while this order is in effect up until April 20th and potentially after, please discuss with your clients what those issues could be. I could see um, rate extensions, um, leases being up, you know, if they need the money on a cash um, cash out refi that they need that in order to pay off some debt or something like that, or even for living expenses at this point. So there's a number of things that would constitute um, an adverse um, hardship, but we do need documentation of it. So have your clients ready to be able to provide that to us. And then at closing, they'll just have to sign an affidavit stating the exact same thing. We need it in our file in case we get audited to show that we weren't just having closings um, without you know, at least taking into effect what this um, stay at home order means. Stay well, stay safe, and I hope to see you guys soon. Thanks.